I saw a couple posts online about the 2024 Model 3 Performance throwing errors about the adaptive suspension and one person said that the service center claimed that the tire had eaten through the wheel speed sensor wiring harness so I took the wheel off of mine to check it and if you want to check yours you could probably do something like this I assume that since this wire here goes to the back of the the wheel back here this is probably the the s sensor for the wheel and the wiring harness that goes up here so all I did was I made sure that this clip and this clip were fastened properly and that this clip back here was fastened properly as well and that there wasn't a whole lot of slack here like this was sticking out further because when you turn the wheel obviously the tire is going to come over this way and you want some clearance here too so if you see any frayed edges along here or if one of these clips maybe fell out or wasn't installed properly and this is over too far there isn't a whole lot of clearance between this and the tire anyway just about an inch or two uh, so if this gets kinked any or it sticks out or there's a little bit too much slack like it's pushed through too far and this is over this way too far you can get some frayed edges I suppose and I guess that's what they're talking about either here like up here where the tire would be look in this area and look over here see if there's any frayed edges and if there are you could probably tie that back uh, or take it in for service if you don't want to fool with it and risk you know messing with your warranty so that's all I did I did it on both sides mine looked fine uh, but I just wanted to do it for peace of mind you could probably do that too and just take the wheel off and look for frayed edges on on any uh, wiring harness really but I think this is the one that they're talking about so hope this helps okay I had intended to do a YouTube short and that first video you saw was gonna be it but I looked on the other side and I noticed on the other side this wiring harness right here is tucked behind this piece right here so it's more out of the way it's like up there and with it hanging over here like this seeing how the the wheel can swing around uh, let me see if I can hold I'm kind of holding this awkward awkwardly so excuse the shakiness but the, the tire is sitting up here like this and the tire could easily swing over here like this and it does and I had like an inch or so of clearance between this um, piece of conduit here and the edge of the tire but now I realize it's supposed to be tucked behind there probably but in order to do that if you notice right here you see this piece right here uh, this looks like an adaptive suspension wire it goes over top of this one and I want to tuck this so obviously I got to unplug this down here and swing it around to this side so that it doesn't get in the way when I try to tuck it back there and this is just uh, the adaptive suspension here this piece right here plugs into this just to hold it sorry I can't hold the camera while I'm looking in real life at the same time but this plugs in I just pop this out and this connector over here I'm just gonna unplug and I'm sure that, that you just pull the red thing back and then pop it off and then I'm gonna route this over top here instead of around the back of this one and I'll be right back after I do that okay so my guess was correct uh, this piece right here all I had to do was pull this red piece right here back this way and it just unplugged so now I'm just gonna plug it back in like this and it clicked and then I pushed the red thing in and as you can see over here again sorry if this gets shaky but I'm contorting in here but I'm gonna plug this back in here like this I guess that's it yeah there we go now that's plugged in and now up here I'm just gonna take this and like the other side I'm gonna tuck it back there out of the way now that's exactly how it is on the other side so I don't know I assume that's the way it's supposed to be if if anyone does anything in here uh, just keep in mind that there's suspension travel too so uh, if you look at how the suspension works that's that's not gonna hurt anything to have it up here I might put a little rubber stopper on this to keep it from rubbing and I did that on the other side actually put a little rubber uh, vacuum hose end cap on this 
so that uh, on the other side it was also resting against this and over time that could scrape I guess so just as a precaution I'll do that but now it's really out of the way uh, and I like that better that, and that's the way the other side was and I suspect that's the way it's supposed to be to keep this out of the way um, you know some people might even put a zip tie on this because there's a hole in this right here uh, but I don't want to do that because it doesn't look like it was designed that way. It's not that way on the other side. But I do think this is supposed to be tucked away behind here instead of hanging out where the tire could possibly hit it. And even though mine didn't have that problem, uh, I feel better now that it's out of the way and it's like it is on the other side. And, you know, I think both sides should probably be that way. And this piece right here, this is way out of the way. The tire is not going to come anywhere near that. Um, so I think we're good to go now. So... Hope this helps somebody. Uh, maybe given that mine was hanging out here, maybe some of the others are hanging a little bit further and that's what's causing the problem. It's rubbing, actually rubbing the tire. And like I said, even though mine wasn't, I did this uh, just to make sure. Okay, I pushed it up on there as far as it'll go. And this conduit that we were talking about, this, I assume, wheel speed sensor electrical conduit is sitting up against it, just like it was on the other side. So it's either sitting up against rubber like it is now or metal like before. So I don't know. You might not want to do that. Um, I did it just because it makes me feel better. So I guess it's worth something. I just wanted to show you, uh, before I lower the car here, I just have a, a jack underneath it. This brings the suspension uh, travel. You know, it unloads the suspension off so that you can actually inspect this back here. See how it's tucked behind there now? So you really don't even have to take the wheel off if you want to just inspect this. Just jack it up and unload the suspension so you got a lot of space in here. And uh, look to see if this cable right here is behind this plastic cover or in front of it. And if it's in front of it, how, how much is it hanging out? So that when the tire turns this way, could it possibly rub it? So just wanted to show you that. If you wanted to inspect yours, and see if it's behind that cover or in front of it or you know how far it's hanging out you can really just jack the car up and you know see how much that unloads the suspension there I mean this is my fist so you can see in there pretty good doing that